finishes the leading scorer has set the benchmark at this level as the team's leaders uh, have come out and the captains lead them out of the tunnel here at Meadow Lane and receive a warm applause from what is a bit of a bumper crowd, it has to be said, for this final game of the regular season. York City, the visitors, and, and as you say, they're virtually assured of their uh, National League place. I think it needs a 15-goal swing with Torquay beating Wrexham and us beating York here. It's, um, half of that's going to happen, I'm not sure the other half is. One of them has just ran over to his daddy and given him a hug, and Luke Williams gives him a big kiss, and still young enough to not try and rub that off at this point. We are underway, York kicking from right to left, and York will indeed stay up. Long ball forwards from Cameron up to the edge of the uh, York penalty area. Ruben knocks it down to the man and gets it back again. Rodriguez on the corner of that right-hand side. Play just a minute. Knots nil, York nil at the moment online on the BBC Sport website. But uh, once they've heard from I would imagine a despondent Steve Cooper will be on all frequency. Ball comes in with Paulie Langstaff challenging on the edge of the six-yard box. It back to Baldwin. He'll find Matty Palmer. Chickson's on his bike down the left-hand side, but the ball goes short in centre of Rodriguez, who gets clattered by Kuya. I know there was a wonder goal in the reverse fixture earlier on this season. Here comes Rodriguez, he's put his one just wide. Right to go. Here's Connell Rawlinson in York territory, right-footed ball, low to the edge of the 18-yard box. It pinballs around, falls to McCauley Langstaff. A couple of speculative shots from York players for offside, and then a, a wayward effort from Sam Oskin, who turns out to his left-hand side and from the edge of the 18-yard box, couldn't quite keep it down. As York have also come here in a bit of a party mood. Does not have it on the far touchline. Adam Chickson will get robbed of possession, but as soon as he does so, Dyson gives it back to Kyle Cameron. Referee, sa referee says play on, he does do. So Ruben Rodriguez, quick ball into the area, great touch from Langstaff, and then drills it with his left foot, and then there's a deflected clearance, which nearly ends up in the back of the, the York net. It's his own half behind the Knotts defence, who were 10, 15 yards inside the York half, but it was Kuyo on the ball, and he, he's only got to play a simple 20-yard ball into the path of John Lewis, couldn't, and it came to nothing. Here yeah, comes Knotts. Diagonal there. ball, and Rodriguez did well to control it between a couple of defenders on his chest. Still nil-nil, as it is in every single National League game, apart from at Dorking, where it's Dorking 1, Scunthorpe nil. Everybody's a bit gun-shy today, perhaps. Chickson, left-footed ball into the penalty area, deep to the back post, headed down by the man, Rodriguez volleyed straight into the midriff, we'll call it, of Mark Ellis. These two have played each other in plenty of pre-season friendlies in recent years, but there is definitely an end-of-season vibe. Here's Austin, short ball to Langstaff, edge of the area, turns and hits it, straight at the goalkeeper, he had Ellis straight all over him, he did well to create enough space. York have a couple of brief touches before it ends at a, a Knott's boot once more. Here's Bostock, has been told to shoot, and so why not, he thinks. Straight at the goalkeeper. Too late, is it? Here's Cameron, out to the left-hand side. Find Palmer. To say just the one minute added on at the end of this first half, it's still nil nil. John Bostock, short pass through the lines to Palmer, now to Rodriguez, edge of the penalty oh, area. Oh. He brilliantly finds Langston! <laughs> tricks last week and scored a brilliant free kick down at Maidstone here at Meadow Lane with his right foot he's drawn a good save out of the keeper and there on the rebound I think Matty Palmer comes close to poking it home but it'll go behind for a goal kick to start the game next Sunday the playoff game you, you just question the toss-up between Conor Rawlinson and Richard Brindley for that sort of right-sided centre-half role. So Richard Brindley comes on, he'll have 35 minutes to stake his play. Oh, Kuya has turned the Knotts defender inside out. It was Aaron, the man who was showing a clean pair of heels and into the... And Knotts have it back once more and in transition of throwing men forwards and trying to pick out a few gaps and this might be their ch best chance when York don't have every man behind the ball to expose a few gaps which is exactly what they're doing it's Sam Austin oh, it's, a it's a magnificent save 
Bostock goes out towards Rodriguez on the right-hand side. Still got it. Surveys his options. Uses Brindley. Down that right touchline. Cuts it back to the edge of the six-yard box. It's cleared away, but only as far as Palmer. Palmer will find Scott. Scott's headers again. Well saved. He makes way 72 minutes on the clock. Hurst is the first change for Michael Morton, the York interim manager. Uh, John Lewis has got the other side of Brindley. He's strong, but he's cross. And he's spread into the gloves. Keep hold of it and play it around there. Marcus, and then there's a dummy from Rodriguez. And Langstaff's going to get there. He's in the post. All the while, I wondered whether or not he'd get there and whether or not he'd be onside. But more inside right channel hits it, scuffs it a bit across the keeper, hits the post and comes out. But then it's the follow-up that was, was more concerning. Langstaff stayed on the ground, injured as York looked to put a ball into the Knox penalty area, comfortably taken by Sam Schleifen hard, and that would have made things look very different for a week tomorrow. Yeah, it wouldn't have just. And there's Hurst, the York substitute, down the left-hand side he goes after picking the ball up off the Knox midfielders near the centre circle. He's now in the bottom left-hand corner. A little step over, gives it to a bit of support, and now finds uh, Gus Mafuta, who'll drill one from 25 yards or so. They know that they're content with you know, maybe not taking a risk because they don't want to potentially look like conceding three and four. Here goes Shaq Ford, oh. though, and he's through one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, oh. and he's going to get York an equaliser. And it sends the 1,400 York City fans on the far side of the ground into raptures. Shaq Ford putting a little bit of a bright spot on the end of York season. They were going to survive anyway. That will make no difference other than take the edge off of this game and completely leave me red-faced by saying that the game was over. Moss County won, York City won, not to sleep at the back because this game was putting people to sleep. But Shaq Ford comes off the substitutes bench and calmly passes the ball past Sam Slocum from around 12 yards out. It's 1-0. Yeah, you're right. Another red smoke flare on the pitch and red faces here in the commentary box. We were talking like it was only... And it was complete lack of concentration from Knotts. It's just a long ball through them. O'Brien. Now to Cameron on the left-hand side. Opens his body up with his right foot. Oh. Finds a really good ball. And there with a stooping header. Back to O'Brien, who's got his ball into the area all wrong. But Chickson tries to keep it alive. It's cleared away. Comes straight back to O'Brien once more. Who drives the play down the left-hand side of the area. Left-footed cross. Brilliant ball. Chickson wins the header four yards out is almost up on this record-breaking season for the Magpies. They have scored 117 goals. It's a new National League record. As the ball is bent into the penalty area, Langstaff draws another brilliant save out of the keeper. Action of the match. Ball whipped in, flicked away. It comes back towards Rodriguez. It's scrambled around, and that's it. It finishes Notts County 1, York City 1. It's inconsequential because that second place was long sewn up. But what it does do is it just takes the shine off of this final day somewhat.